Have you heard the latest about Outer Heaven? Only whispers. They say something's being built there. Something big. It's more than just whispers now. Our intel suggests it could be a new kind of weapon. Excuse me, generals. We've just received new satellite imagery. It seems there's increased activity in Outer Heaven. Look at these fortifications. This place is turning into a fortress. What could they possibly be hiding? Whatever it is, we can't ignore it. This could change the balance of power in the region. In the shadowed corners of international politics, where the threat of war simmered like a latent beast, the year 1995 marked an unsettling whisper that rippled through the Western powers. It was a rumor at first, a specter of a fear, that within the impenetrable walls of outer heaven, something monstrous was stirring. Outer Heaven, a name spoken in hushed tones was no ordinary foe. Founded in the late 1980s, some 200 kilometers north of Galsberg, South Africa, stood as a testament to military prowess, secretly forged by mercenaries of no affiliation. The name evoked both awe and dread. This fortress, a heavily fortified state, was an enigma, a sovereign power unto itself, a haven for soldiers without a cause. The intelligence that trickled into the corridors of power in Washington spoke of a weapon, not just any weapon, but one capable of shifting the delicate balance of global power, a weapon of mass destruction. As details emerged, it became clear that this was no mere rumor. Something was being built in the heart of outer heaven, something that threatened to eclipse the fears of a nuclear age. We've gathered here to discuss a matter of urgent national security. Recent intelligence suggests that Outer Heaven is no longer just a rogue state. They're developing a weapon, one that could drastically shift global power dynamics. What kind of weapon are we talking about? Details are still sketchy, but our sources indicate it's a weapon of mass destruction, unlike anything we've seen before. This could be a game changer. We need to know exactly what we're dealing with. Which is why we're recommending immediate reconnaissance. We need eyes on the ground. Outer Heaven is a fortress. Infiltration won't be easy. That's why we're considering deploying Foxhound. If anyone can get in and out undetected, it's them. Authorize the mission. Very well. I'll relay the orders. The situation in Outer Heaven demands our immediate attention. We've been tasked with a reconnaissance mission to ascertain their capabilities, especially regarding the rumored weapon. We need our best on this. Grey Fox, step forward. Ready for the mission, sir. Your objective is to infiltrate Outer Heaven, gather intel on the weapon and report back. Absolute stealth is crucial. You're going in alone. You're one of our finest, Fox. We have every confidence in your abilities. I won't let you down. Everything you need is in here. Departure is at 0600 hours. Gray Fox, a specter in his own right, was no stranger to the dark underbelly of covert operations. His skills were unparalleled, his resolve unbreakable. The infiltration was a thing of beauty, a dance of shadows and silence. Gray Fox moved through outer heaven with the grace of a ghost, his presence undetected. The first building of the fortress yielded its secrets slowly. He charted the labyrinth of corridors, the sweep of the inner courtyard, the unblinking eyes of cameras, and the silent sentinels of guards. He procured weapons and equipment, card keys, rations, blades, tools of the trade for those who lived in this world of espionage and conflict. But as he delved deeper into the belly of outer heaven, Grey Fox stumbled upon a revelation that chilled him to the bone. This is it. The whispers were true. There, in the heart of darkness, was the genesis of a new Metal Gear. A creation that held the power to render nations ground zero. 
Metal Gear. The details were scarce, the full picture elusive, but the implications were clear. This was no ordinary weapon. This was something new, something terrifying. In a desperate bid to relay his findings, Gray Fox reached out to Foxhound. His message was fragmented, a puzzle shrouded in urgency and fear. This is Gray Fox. I've located the weapon. I can confirm it has advanced nuclear capabilities. Code name Metal Gear TX-55. It's capable of... I have to move. Sending images now. The transmission crackled with the weight of his discovery, his voice a harbinger of a new kind of war. Commander, we're receiving a transmission from Gray Fox. This is Fox. I've looked weapon. I can confirm it has Metal Gear TX-55. He found the weapon, Metal Gear. Can we get a clearer transmission? We need more details. The move. Send it now. We've lost the signal. I can't re-establish connection. Damn it, we've lost contact. Gray Fox is in danger. We need to prepare for a contingency plan. This mission just became a rescue operation. We've just lost contact with our operative in Outer Heaven. His last transmission included images and data suggesting the development of a new kind of weapon, codenamed Metal Gear TX-55. The implications of this are severe. If Outer Heaven has developed a weapon capable of changing the course of war, we need to act. Do we have any plans for a direct intervention? A direct assault on Outer Heaven would be costly. We need to consider all our options. Any approach we take must be carefully calculated. Outer Heaven's defenses are formidable, and we can't forget the political implications. A misstep here could escalate into a larger conflict. We need more intelligence, and we need to consider the possibility of a covert operation to retrieve or neutralize this Metal Gear. We'll coordinate with our assets in the region. Time is of the essence. Let's move forward with utmost caution. The world is watching, and we cannot afford any mistakes. Metal Gear. Those words uttered in a mix of awe and dread were his last before the line went dead. In that moment, Gray Fox's fate became as much a mystery as the weapon he had uncovered. Captured or killed, his fate was unknown. But his warning had been sounded. In the hallowed halls of power, the name Metal Gear echoed, a harbinger of a new era of warfare. And in the heart of outer heaven, the gears of war continued to turn, unfettered and unchallenged, at least for now. This is Snake. Kept you waiting, huh?